Hi guys, Wednesday the 8th of February and I'm back with my daily cards. Two very beautiful cards, two cups cards. Cups is water, love, emotions, intuition, relationships, all that kind of stuff. So we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups, I'm five years learning tarot since last month. Six of Cups was always one that kind of threw me a bit. I was like, I mean, I, I know all the theories people have about what it means, but I couldn't kind of make sense of them. I was like, mm, I don't know. Now, the document, the tarot document that I have that I'm loving, which I only got last year, I think it was, but I only printed it out about a month ago. Um, Every card in the document has a little saying that goes with it. The saying for the Six of Cups is, Give to others with love and affection. Okay. Now, this is two kids. You know, one, the bigger one is given the smaller one, one of the cups with flowers in it, right? So because it's kids, that would relate to the fact that people talk about it being about nostalgia. It's about remembering the past, remembering when you were a child, when it was simpler times, that kind of thing, right? So that would make sense from that point of view. Now, for a long time, I never heard anyone mention the man walking away here in the background. So I was thinking, what the hell does he mean? And I did find someone recently, I can't remember who he was. I'll have to look through my playlists um, or my people I'm subscribed to, subscribed to. <laughs> um, but someone did make a little video on each of the cards going through all the symbolism. And this is a guard okay so it's about letting your guard down so he's been told look we don't need you you can go away home for the day take the rest of the day off we're going to enjoy ourselves here in the garden without you know you watching us that kind of thing so i always now see the six of cups as let your guard down and allow love in okay because that's about giving to others with love and affection because it's seen as nostalgia, it can be also seen as someone from your past coming back. Um, someone you knew as a child who you may not have seen in a long time. Um, that you've been looking for. Anything like that. Who is going to get back in touch with you. And it makes perfect sense with this next to it. Because the Knight of Cups is um, known as the Knight in Shining Armour. This is about some someone coming to you. And the way, it, the way it reads is like the Knight of Cups is riding towards this scene. So this definitely suggests that someone is going to come into your life. Now, it doesn't mean, say for example, if you're in a happy marriage and you thought of someone you, I don't know, dated when you were young. This doesn't mean he's going to come back and ruin the day. It could be... Um, if you are single and you're looking for someone, it could be that someone's coming into your life that you knew a long time ago. If you were happily married, it could be a friend that you haven't seen in a long time that's going to get back in touch. So think of all the different scenarios in relation to everything I've said about these cups, uh, these two cards. And that could be what this is about, do you know. I would also see it just, just from the point of view as letting your guard down and allowing love in. It could be just that um, there's new love coming towards you, whether it be a partner or a friend, a new good friend or anyone. It could be, you know, in a strange relationship, someone that you've not actually got on with for a while, that they could be coming back to offer you a full cup and kind of try and rekindle a, a, whatever kind of relationship with you, you know. So there's a lot of scenarios possible, but whatever makes sense to you right now is what this could mean for you. Okay, so that's the message for today, guys. Hope it makes sense. Please do leave a like and comments. And again, I have more new, new subscribers in the last couple of days. So thanks a million to everyone. Please do introduce yourself in the comments um, because everyone does like to get to know each other in the comments. And also, like you might be have been already chatting to someone in the comments from another channel and um, so chat away guys thanks a million bye